Ever worried of waking up to see your cryptocurrency investment plummet overnight? I never expected it. A stop loss order might be just what you need to protect your gains and also limit your losses. So want to know how stop loss works? Let's dive into it. A stop loss is a trading tool designed to automatically sell your crypto when the price falls to a certain level. Think of it as a safety net protecting you from losing more than you can afford to in a volatile market. With stop loss in place, you can set it and forget it knowing very well that your losses would be limited. Let's say you bought Bitcoin at $60,000. To protect yourself, you set a stop loss at $58,000. If the price of Bitcoin drops to $58,000, your stop loss triggers selling your Bitcoin to prevent further losses. This way you cap your total loss to a maximum $2,000. Stop loss order is particularly useful in the crypto markets where prices can swing widely in a short period. By setting up a stop loss, you don't have to constantly monitor the markets. You can just go out, chill, go to the beach and have fun knowing that worst case scenario you have capped your losses or even locked gains. Quite actually worried when your trade will execute automatically. You don't have to worry. Pretty much you have locked your gains and even protected yourself from any potential losses. Nice. <laughs> there are actually a few types of stop losses that you can use depending on your own strategy. Okay, let's look at the three main ones. The face stop loss, trailing stop loss, and the stop limit order. First, let's look at the face stop loss. It's actually the simplest type. All you need to do is to set your asset to a price that you want it to be sold. All right, then automatically when the price reaches that bottom or gets to that point, it will automatically sell for you. So let's say if I buy BNB for $500 and I want it to be sold at $499 and I set it as a fixed stop loss, when price hits $499, automatically it will be sold. It will be sold, all right? Which means, for example, if I bought BNB for $400 and BNB jumps to $500, I want to protect my profit or lock any potential loss. All that I will do is to set the price to $499 nine all right fixed stop loss to 499 and when bnb drops from 500 to 499 automatically the uh, bnb asset will be sold all right now let's look at the trailing stop loss which is a bit different this one pretty much adjusts your prices as the crypto coin increases as the dicta assets that you hold increases all right so which means if i bought bnb for let's say 400 dollars and bnb goes to 450 it will just adjust my stop loss to 450 if bnb moved to 455 it will adjust to 455 when a bnb price goes to let's say 490 to adjust to 490 when bnb goes to 500 to adjust that you know it will trail it be increasing to be adjusting as the price increases i hope that makes a lot of sense okay so with this strategy you are actually locking up some profits while also protecting yourself from any potential loss at all finally let's look at the stop limit order this is a bit tricky because this one you set two prices okay a stop price that is when the order activates and the limit price which basically is the lowest price that you are willing to accept to sell this strategy actually gives you more control but in the fast moving market it is very likely that your order won't be filled especially if the price drops too quickly so when or why should you use stop loss for me stop loss is a great tool no doubt about it but it is not always useful i remember some time ago i set a stop loss on a particular coin and then it got sold immediately it sold then the price took off so consider using stop loss when the following applies to you. Number one, when you can't monitor the trade constantly. If you're in a trade and you can't monitor constantly, then I think stop loss might be a great strategy for you. Number two, use stop loss if you want to lock profits. All right, let's say you made some cool profits and dicta asset that you pretty much entered and you are not sure whether the price will go further up or down and you pretty much you are satisfied with the profit that you have made, you would want to use stop loss to lock your profits and prevent any loss at all, all right? So if you are content, if you are not greedy like someone I know, <laughs> and you want to um, lock in profit, then I think stop loss is a great strategy to employ or deploy in your trading strategy. My third reason is if you are trading a highly volatile asset, then stop loss definitely 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 it should be your friend at least it should be one of your major arsenal to prove in case of any eventualities all right so always you stop loss if you are trading highly volatile crypto or highly volatile assets so for me and i believe every trader stop loss is a game changer in our trading strategy helping us navigate the highs and the lows in the crypto markets with confidence knowing that you have some assurance if the market turns sour you can at least lock in some profits or protect or limit your losses so do you use stop loss in your trading or do you mind sharing your trading strategies with us share your thoughts in the comment section and don't forget to like follow or subscribe to this channel for more trading tips or for more crypto wares like this all right so until next time my name is manuel I'll see you in this video bye thank you for the words so sweet